Hi, this is uh, Alan Phillips from Caroline Custom Amplifiers from Pelham, New Hampshire. I'm down here in Austin at Austin Guitar House and I'm just going to give a brief overview of the uh, the Satin model. This is our clean pedal pla pa platform. That's a tongue twister. Uh, it's it's basically it's set up so you've got as much headroom as possible from the front end of the amp so you can load the front end with pedals. It uses the uh, it uses two dual triode stages, uh, parallel triode stages at the front of the amp and the re there's reverb on this one. It's the only model we do with reverb and the reverb is in a separate side chain to the main signal so it doesn't affect the main signal whatsoever. Uh, it's a very simple layout. It has a gain control at the front of the amp, at the front of the pedal, at the front of the control panel, uh, which you set the, uh, the 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 amount of drive that you want for the guitar that you use in the the, the pickups that are fitted to the guitar. So typically, it would typically run around about two o'clock for 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 most uh, humbucker guitars, and maybe a little hotter, maybe around about three o'clock for uh, single coil guitars. Uh, as the uh, traditional treble, middle and bass reverb there, master volume, it has a field control which affects the, the very high and very low frequencies and it's very good for matching it with different speaker cabinets. So if you have a, if you have a speaker cabinet that's, a, that's got a lot of bass resonance with it, you can take, you can take the field control down and it'll, it'll dial out some of that resonance for you. Uh, it's got a, tr a traditional presence control that affects the high frequency. And the two switches on the front, it's got a bright switch, which is just overall bright brightness. Uh, it just uh, allows you to, to give it a little bit more sparkle. And it has the mid-boost switch. Now the mid-boost switch kind of turns this amp into another beast altogether. If you crank up the gain and turn the mid-boost on, on this amp, it sounds very British. Very British late 60s. Uh, it does not sound like a 6L6 amp, it sounds like an EL34 amp uh, even though it's fitted with 6L60, it sounds like an EL34 amp and it just it turns it into, into a really cool classic rock tone uh, that uh, again you can push with pedals to get even more overdrive if you want but it gives you like a, a, slightly, driven over, a slightly driven tone which is a, a very very good for, uh, for like I said some classic rock stuff but most people, I should imagine, will run it with the mid boost off, with the gain probably around about two o'clock, so that they can get the most out of the pedals. So basically, that's 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 the satin model. It's a clean pedal pack platform, but has the ability to have a nice little bit of drive when you kick in the mid boost. Well, thank you very much for listening.